This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today we're going to create the one eyed purple people eater. One eyed, one horn, blind purple people eater. That's, that's, the, that's the elder. Oh, I see. This is the youth. Uh, this recipe submitted by the Woodman717. It's got a lot of weird stuff going on here. I had to give it a try. It's kind of. Sounds pretty good. Sounds good, and it's purple. So. But I can't read the name without hearing the song in my head. That's like the. No. There's no other drink I could think of that does that. We had a couple in the past. One ounce of blue curacao. One ounce of light rum. I'm using the Denzian rum. We did a tasting on that. If you want to search the archives for that, you can figure out what that brings to the table. The table. Because um, we're not telling you. We're not. No. <laughs> Screw that. It's good. Cherry rum. I have Crucian black cherry rum. It's close enough from the island of St. Croix. Grenadine, because you want to get the purple and you get the blue. See the math there. Sweet and sour mix. Made myself two ounces of it. A half ounce of grenadine I did. And then we're gonna fill it, or top it, with some Sprite. This is the Soda Stream Sprite. Had a lot of cool results from the Soda Stream from everything from I don't understand why I want it, to I want one but can't afford it, to I have one and it's awesome. Nobody who actually complained. That a lot of people were questioning if anything, oh, we're gonna build it in here, by the way. What, uh what the flavors tasted like, which is very hard to describe. Maybe I need to do a uh, soda stream tasting with just like the Coke Zero versus when the Coke they Zero. Pay you. It's true. We don't get anything for this. <laughs> um, you know, something where you can see how close it comes to the real thing. Without it side by side, they taste pretty similar. Right. I don't know. I've never side by side did it, which is why I was telling people I think it's good. And when you're looking at, say, I don't know, uh, the lemon lime sodas. There's tons of brands of lemon lime soda. And from for all those people that say they can't mist, afford it. Seven Up. Christmas. You missed your time. You missed it. <laughs> birthday. We're Christmas gonna, and birthday. We'll do a, an ounce of each of these, by the way. Father's Day. Valentine's Va Day. <laughs> we need, oh. And Easter. People need to submit us some Valentine's Day recipes. What happens is people submit them on the week of Valentine's Day, and we record a week in advance, and I like to have those prepped because I have to buy stuff for them, and some of it can be special order or harder to get. Special order. Not really special order, but uh, so I like to get them earlier. Like I have Christmas recipes that I, I'll do next year that I got this year after Christmas or the week of Christmas, and that's just not going to cut it, people. Yeah, so stop slacking. That's right. Boom, two ounces, sweet sour, oh, nice, beautiful color. Now, we'll bring in our half ounce of grenadine. And this, oh, I ran out. Do I have any more grenadine? I must have grenadine, right? I didn't think I could run out of grenadine. Uh, we probably have enough for this. It's probably almost have one downstairs now. Yeah, but whatever. It's down, it's dead, man down. It's close to a half, it just doesn't hit the the cusp. I'm gonna throw some ice in there first. No, it may not be purple. Should be close. Now, we're gonna stir this sucker up. Hmm. I'm gonna pour it in here while we're stirring. Then we'll bring in the citrus at the end. I was actually gonna say, I, I may not wanna use all the grenadine. Cause you don't want it to be black if it's off balance. I'm gonna I'm gonna go as far as to say I don't think it needs it all. Although I have ice holes that have just blue in them. Let's see if I can fix that up. There we go. I, I don't think we you need You're gonna the whole. lighten it up with the sprite though. Well we'll see. But you might lighten it up, but I don't think you're gonna get you're gonna bring out one of the two colors. Right? We'll see. No. Use your own discretion on the uh, grenadine. Especially if you like a little more blue hue to it, but I think this is pretty damn cool. What do you think? Does that look like a one-eyed purple people eater? Sure. Hmm. They hmm. usually have one big eye. If you had your ice position just right. You could. Just go one eye. 
This smells. Oh, I can't place it. It's almost like cherry. Cherry and blueberry. Not blueberry, raspberry. Blue, black raspberry. There's no black raspberry here. Now this recipe, unlike the lemon one we did earlier, gives you a little bit of that, that twang. What? Right there. Here's some grenadine in my ice hole. Check that out. In the ice hole. Bleeding. Bleeding ice. So, as a taste profile, I think if I had to compare it to anything, you have to put on your, your imaginary hat for a second here, or a real hat thinking cap think black no think yeah i guess a black cherry or a, a cherry lemonade i don't think anything exists on the market that's a cherry lemonade and i think that's a travesty and it needs to be fixed this is like cherry lemonade which is really cool it's just a slight bite not too much nice citrus action that little like almost like a raspberry ish thing going on in that cherry it's cool. This and the sour mix really is the killer. The sour mix without that fresh sour mix, don't use that BS you could get on at the store in a big jug that's like a buck ninety nine and it's like the first ingredient is high fructose corn syrup and it ends with hydrogenated something or others and all those things I don't understand and chemical makeups. Lemon, lime. This right here. This is uh, what? One lemon, one lime, two ounces of simple syrup. Done. That's what you need for this recipe. Do it because everydaydrinkers.tv said to do it and get yourself a shirt. Cause look, it's got two shot glasses that are tipped over and it makes the two O's in shooters. That's damn cool. We're teaching you how to drink.